Hello and welcome to my channel Mathematical Coaching Center. So in today's class, we'll do factorization. As you have done already in class 9, so you know what is factorization. So factorization is a process in which we write a number or any mathematical terms as a product of several factors. So let's see an example what is factorization. So 3 into 5 is a factor of 15. So as you know, if you'll divide 15 by 3, the remainder will come 0. 5 also, the remainder will come 0. But by the product this, it has to come 15. So 3 into 5 is your factor of 15. So in next example, you can see x plus 3, x minus 3 is a factor of x square minus 3 square. So as you know, I have put the formula a square minus b square, a plus b, a minus b. So x plus 3 and x minus 3 is a factor of x square minus 3 square. So you have to revise some of the terms from the class 9. So let's see, I'll show you some example from the class 9. So you have this 2x square plus 5x plus 3. So you know this is your breaking the middle term. So 3 to the 6 and 3 plus 2 is your 5. So I'm bringing the middle term. You can see 2x square plus 3 plus 2 is your 5 and 3 to the 6 is there. So 2x square plus 3 into x, 3x plus 2x plus 3. Now we have to take common from first two and the second two. So what will be the common here? You can see x will be common. So 2x plus 3 and in the second, third and fourth term, we don't have common. So 1 will be common from there. So we have got the common. So 2x plus 3 and 2x plus 3 is same. So I'll take common that and x plus 1 I'll write in another bracket as you have done already in class 9. We'll discuss in next sum also. So what is the difference between factorize and the solve? Factorization and solve, you, it look like same but you can see in that solve there is zero sign, zero is there on the right hand side. Solve means find the value of x, find the value of x. So you'll process the same till the last factorize but now the next step will be there either or. So either 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, so 2x equals to minus 3, so x equals to minus 3 by 2 and another a or x plus 1 equals to 0 that implies x equals to minus 1. So this is just a revision from class 9. Later on in while doing, doing the numerical sums we will discuss more. So let's start today's class. So here comes the remainder theorem. So what is remainder theorem? So first you have to know what is remainder theorem. So if a polynomial f of x is divided by x minus alpha, this is called as alpha, then remainder is given by f of alpha. So what is this? So we'll prove this by an example. So it will be more clear by an example. So I have an example you can see there. Find the remainder on dividing this by x minus 2. So in your syllabus there is remainder theorem so, but I'll show you both the way that will get the remainder same so first I'll show you by remainder theorem so by remainder theorem what we can do is that we'll take this you can see here let x minus 2 this we are dividing so we'll take this as solution so let what I'll take x minus 2 is equal to 0 so I'll take x minus 2 is equal to 0 so what I'll get x equals to 2 so I got x equals to 2. So what I am using here by remainder theorem. So I am using here remainder theorem. So what does remainder theorem says that directly you can write remainder. Okay. So what we have the polynomial here. We have the polynomial 5x square minus 7x plus 4. So remainder theorem says instead of x now I can put 2. So instead of x, I'll put 2. So this x2 square minus 7 in bracket 2 plus 4. Don't jump, okay? So we'll do slowly. So 2 square will be your 4. Minus 7 2 is a 14 plus 4. So 5 4 is a 20 minus, minus 14 plus 4. So 20 minus 14 will be 6 plus 4. I got 10. So this is my remainder by the remainder theorem. Now I'll show you by the division method. Let's start now by division method. So division method you have done in class 7 I think so. So you'll be too simple like this x minus 2 and this is your so it will be here minus 7x plus 4. 
so what does the division rule says that <clears throat> whatever I have at first I have to make that so here I have x that means I have to make 5x square so by what you will multiply that I'll get 5x square so if I'll multiply by 5x so you can see here x into x x square it will be so it will be 5x square so minus plus it will be minus 5 to the 10 x so this will be a minus and you have to change the opposite sign plus opposite will be minus uh, this plus opposite will be again it will be minus so this two will get cancelled so minus plus is minus so 10 minus 7 10 minus 7 is your 3x now the sign will be the bigger number sign so 7x and 10x which is bigger 10x so 10x sign has been it was before minus was there now it has been changed to plus so this sign will be plus and this will be your plus 4 now what I have to make you can see x is there I have to make 3 so 3x so by what you will multiply then you will get 3x by 3 so its plus is also there so plus 3 so 3 into x plus 3x minus plus is your minus 2 3 is a 6 so plus is there so plus opposite we have to change the sign so plus opposite will be your minus and minus opposite will be your plus so you can see here plus minus opposite sign so it will get cancelled plus plus will be your plus so 4 plus 6 I'll get 10 so you can see this side also I got 10 this side also I got 10 so this is your remainder theorem so in exam no need to do by this method we have to use this method so this is for exam hope so you got understood this remainder theorem okay so now we will solve some of the very important question past years questions ICC here we have a question which carry three marks so you can see here find the remainder without division so without division means you have to use a remainder theorem so when this polynomial is divided by x minus 1 so this question is from 2000 okay, so this is your ICC 2000 it carries 3 marks so let's solve this question so what you'll do first you'll write solution so first step what you'll take this x minus 1 equals to 0 so let x minus 1 equals to 0 so I'll get x equals to 1 so this when you go that's it it will be 1 now what I'll use by remainder theorem so by remainder theorem so directly what can I write therefore remainder remainder equals to I'll write this polynomial what is that 2x cube minus 3x square plus 7x minus 8 now instead of x what I'll put I'll put 1 so it will be 2 1 whole cube minus 3 1 square plus 7 1 minus 8 so you can see 2 1 cube means 1 into 1 into 1 so it will be 1 minus 3 1 square means 1 into 1 1 into 1 is again 1 plus 7 ones are 7 minus 8 so this will be 2 ones are 2 minus 3 plus 7 minus 8 so 2 minus 3 how much will be 2 minus 3 will be your minus 1 and this 7 minus 8 will be your minus 1 since 8 is bigger so it will be minus so minus minus is your plus so 1 plus 1 is your 2 so I got minus 2 so by remainder theorem I got the remainder equals to minus 2 so this carries 3 marks here comes another important question so you can see here using remainder theorem so already they have said us to use the remainder theorem find the value of a if the division of this by x minus 1 leaves the remainder 2a so this is a little bit different type of question so what they had given is that we have to find the value of a you can see here a and they had given us remainder 2a so let's start the solution so we'll write solution what we'll do we'll take this let x minus 1 equals to 0 so what I'll get x equals to I got x equals to 1 so by remainder theorem by remainder theorem so what they had given is that remainder they had already given us how much is the remainder remainder equals to 2a but you know that remainder we will write the polynomial so x cube plus 5x square 
minus a x plus 6 equals to 2 a so there is another way also if you'll do this process it will be easy directly you'll get or another method is that you will take equation 1 equation 2 it will be very much lengthy method okay directly you can do this way remainder equals to 2a and directly remainder you know formula you have to write the polynomial equals to 2a now what we can do now we will write the value of x x is how much 1 so i'll put 1 here so it will be 1 cube plus 5 x here is there so 1 square minus a this is 1 plus 6 equals to 2a now 1 cube means 1 into 1 into 1 1 into 1 into 1 will be 1 plus 5 1 square means 5 into 1 square is 1 minus a into 1 is a plus 6 equals to 2a now what will be 1 plus 5 into 1 is 5 so this minus a i'll take that side plus 6 equals to 2a this i'm taking that side so minus a when it go that side it will be plus a you can see here 1 plus 5 is your 6 6 plus 6 is your 12 12 equals to 3a now what i'll get 12 this is multiply so multiply when you go that side it will divide equals to a so this this will get cancelled so what i'll get 3 ones are 3 3 fours are 12 so therefore i got a is equal to 4 so this is my answer if you go with this method directly you'll get okay no need to do equation one equation two so this will be the easiest and how much marks you'll get you'll get three marks so here comes one of the very important question and it carries four marks and you can see here it's 2010 when divided by x minus 3 that means what happened in this question is that x minus 3 we are dividing to this also and to this also and we are getting the same remainder so these are the keywords okay so and we have to find the value of p so where is my p the side and the side so we have to find the value of p so this is dividing to both the polynomial that and we are getting the same remainder so let's start the solution so we'll write solution so what you will take let x minus 3 is equal to 0 so what i get x equals to 3 by remainder theorem so by remainder theorem i'll do directly i'll not take equation 1 equation 2 okay so i'll show you a very easy method what i'll take remainder 1 so i'm taking this as remainder 1 equals to remainder remainder 2 why we are taking equal because they had given us same remainder so by remainder theorem i have to put this polynomial here so x cube minus px square plus x plus 6 equals to remainder 2 polynomial is this side so 2 x cube minus x square minus p plus 3 x minus 6 now what i have to do i have to put the value of x so what is the value of x x is 3 so instead of x or there is one more equals to so i'll write or so x cube means x value is 3 so this will be a 3 cube minus 7 so x 3 square minus sorry it's plus 3 plus 6 equals to the side 2 x is your 3 cube minus x is your 3 square minus p plus 3 outside will be your uh, almost x is your 3 minus 6 so what will be my 3 cube 3 cube means 3 into 3 into 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 so i got 27 minus p i'll write it right as it is so 3 square 3 square is 9 so this will be your 9p plus 3 plus 6 is your 9 equals to 2 3 cube 3 cube means 3 into 3 into 3 so it's your into 27 minus 3 square 3 square is your 9 minus so now i am multiplying this 3 into p 3p so minus plus is your minus 3 3 is a 9 minus 6 so now number number keep it together and pp keep it together so 9p is here so minus 9p so this i'll bring from here this side because it's p so minus when it comes this side it will be plus 3p equals to now 2 into 27 2 into 27 will be a 54 
so here is minus 9 minus 9 minus 6 no number I'll take that side so this plus 27 when you go that side it will be minus 27 plus 9 when you go that side it will be again minus 9 you can see here minus plus is your minus so 9 minus 3 is your 6p so minus 6p I got it now you can see simplification is so complicated now I'll show you in a simple way a tricky way so I'll write this as 54 as it is now you can see here minus 9 minus 9 minus 9 3 minus 9 are there so 3 minus 9 means minus minus plus so 9 9 8 18 18 plus 9 is again here minus 27 so minus 27 minus 6 minus 27 so as it is this minus 6p equals to 54 minus 27 54 minus 27 is your 27 minus 6 minus 27 so this side is plus 27 this side is minus 27 so both it will get cancelled so or what I got minus 6p equals to minus 6 so minus minus got cancelled so 6 ones are 6 6 ones are 6 therefore p is equal to 1 so I got the answer and you will get how much marks 4 marks